Okay, some interesting results on an attempt to negate or neutralize lens law or drag on a generator. So I'm going to have two coils offset. The magnets on these are the poles are on these sides. These sides. The poles split where that slit in the plastic is. So that's a north, that's a south. As one of them goes past, one pole goes past the coil, it induces voltage because it cuts across the wire. At the exact same, or close to the exact same time, the other side goes with the wire on another coil. So we're going to do them um, both ways to buck and not buck. Now the advantage I'm seeing is that this coil has a magnetic field north and a south on either side that's going to interact with the magnet north and south because it's going like this. It's going to interact with this magnet and it's going to induce much less than this induces. So if they hook them up where they buck, this side is going to drag at the same time as this side is doing the exact opposite because this voltage is going through here in series and acting in the opposite manner of the rotor to kick it as this one's holding it back. So the first test I'm just going to show that it does produce voltage like this. I have it open circuit and I just have my oscilloscope leads hooked on and I'm going to give it so I saw up to 12 volts connected like this okay so now we're going to stop it can you get the stopwatch ready? the first thing we're going to do is leave it unhook the oscilloscope and leave it open circuit so neither of these coils are shorted or have any load on them they're just open and we're going to spin it with the drill and we're going to time it until it stops exactly until it comes to a complete stop so ready no. hold up stop it here are you record I'll do So this is open circuit. Eighteen or nineteen seconds. Let's call it nineteen just to be safe. Okay. Next we're gonna hook this lead up to where the twelve volts come out. And we're going to short the coils. The coils are both shorted together. Okay. Now, remember that produces 12 volts, so we're producing something here. Nineteen seconds. Same spin time, producing twelve volts, shorted as when it's open. So lens drag isn't much. Now let's reverse these leads, switch them so they're not bucking. Now it should slow down drastically because we're working both coils against the motion. Okay, now we have them the wrong way. Fourteen seconds. So we gained almost five seconds of spin time by using this coil to propel it. We lost a little voltage, obviously, in the process, but we gained five seconds of spin time. But the interesting thing was, open circuit, it spins just as long as closed circuit when you buck these, and it still produces 12 volts. So, okay, now one last test, just for reference, is we're going to 
not worry about the second coil and just short the first coil just short the first coil Twelve seconds. So as you see, something interesting is happening. Did we eliminate or almost eliminate Lens Law and still get 12 volts by making this coil not induct but repel with this voltage at the same timing? 